DMV zone without talking about Taylor Swift. Yeah, yeah, she's become the new Kardashians. <laughs> Maybe it used to be all about now, it's all about Taylor Swift. Well, she has been on the minds and mouths of so many people recently, but saying her name in one family's home may actually cost you, and we should do that around here, too. What you mean? Well, Dana Rice is a mom of three boys and a fellow Swiftie from our region. She joins us now to talk about uh, the comical bad blood between her and her husband and how she's paying for it. Hey, Dana, all right, so how did this hey. all get started? How many times a day were you dropping T. Swift's name? <laughs> Hi, guys. Uh, well, I guess it was a lot more than I thought. And, um, you know, the, my husband and I uh, have good humor between us. And so this was his way of sort of delivering the message in a, in a, in a funny way. So if you say Taylor Swift's name, you have to pay something into a jar. How much <laughs> do you have to pay every time? Well, it's 25 cents, um, but the, the best part about this was we were, we were together in the kitchen, and I was sitting there at the, at the countertop. He was sitting there, and he just quietly started asking me for a Sharpie and asking me for tape, and <laughs> I didn't know what he was doing, and I had just come back from... Uh, I went to the, the Eras Tour concert in the spring. Oh. He very kindly supported me and my two nieces <laughs> to go to the concert in the spring, and this was the night after the movie. I had taken my 13-year-old niece to the movie with her friends. I, I have sons. I, I didn't know the whole thing, <laughs> So I guess I was enthusiastic after all of that. <laughs> so uh, how much have you been taxed so far on uh, dropping her name? Well, <laughs> here's the funny part. He handed me a roll of quarter, quarters. He handed me the quarters as we were sitting there. And let me tell you, I haven't seen a roll of quarters in a very long time. I and say. I just got to look at him. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he knew he's, he's not getting away with it. That's for sure. In terms of uh, escaping it, I think he's more enthusiastic about just recognizing it's a lot of fun. And uh, we certainly didn't didn't expect it to go viral. Oh, yeah, well, but, I bet. But, That's the thing. You, the attention that you've now drawn, and you have course. brought a lot of households are thinking about doing the same thing, Dana, because so many people have Taylor on their mind. And you I think. think <laughs> but, Dana, the yeah. big question is how much of that quarter roll do you have left? Oh, none. It was immediate. I mean, I immediately put it in there. I said, you know, this is this is how it's going to go down. And the and the worst part of all is, it just keeps getting better. There's so much more to talk about in terms yeah. of uh, Taylor Swift lore and things happening. But you know, I, I, it's all in fun. There's there's a lot of things in the world that are not so great, yeah. and this is just kind of a fun little piece of candy. So, are you following along with all the Argentina drama and the kisses and the Travis Kelsey and the behind the scenes and all that? I mean, I could not ask for more. This is this is another reason why I think it's going viral. Who doesn't love a romance, a story, and just a good feeling love story? We all need that. Yeah, definitely. So you're buying into the relationship. You She's think this is real, it. and you're loving it like uh, most of America is. You know, I'm a cynic. I am definitely <laughs> a cynic, but my goodness, you just can't help but read into uh, the body language. The best part about social media, and also the worst part, is literally it's as if you're there. These are these are stories that you know Life magazine way back in the day right. would have written about, and photographers, and maybe it would have been delivered to your mailbox, you know, a month later. This is instantaneous. It's it's addictive. It certainly is. All right, is. I, I, w I would like to reach out to her husband and just send him some quarters. I'm going to send. Okay, all right. I, I, give them to me. Yeah, I, I need yeah. the quarters. I was going to say, when was the last time you saw a quarter? Fun. You don't even pay for parking anymore with quarters. Good well, luck, Dana. Them. We wish you the best of luck, and we hope you don't. Exactly, have... exactly. <laughs> you don't fill the jar up, at least not too much. And hopefully, if you do, you can use it for a good cause, like going to another concert yes. or something like that. It's a, yeah, we got a whole year to save up for the for the next uh, round. Hopefully, the, that'll, there you uh, go. that'll happen next next year. Good talking to you, Dana. Keep Thank us posted, you, Dana. and we'll check back in. I think a lot of people are taking on with this. We should yeah, be here on the DMV. Yeah, hashtag if you have a Taylor Swift jar, send us. <laughs> let us know. <laughs> All right, stay with us. When we come back, uh, we're talking about Christmas already. It's not even Thanksgiving. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> At least we're sharing that one. We'll stay right here in the DMV zone.